Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please make sure to click on the bell icon so that you will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Today, I'm going to share with you chicken drumstick kebab and they are very tasty and very delicious. You can serve it any time of the day and this is the best appetizer you can have. It will be creamy, hot and spicy. It's a four pound chicken drumstick. They are fresh. It's a personal preference. If you want to keep the skin on, you can keep it. Only reason I take it out, because my kids don't like it. So I'm going to take the skin off, wash it, pat it dry, then I'll make a cut. Paprika, salt, two teaspoon, red chili flake, cumin powder, grinder powder, one teaspoon each. Ginger, garlic, green chili paste, one tablespoon. 2 teaspoon parsley flake for the coating unsalted butter and 4 tablespoon philadelphia original cream cheese and you can use any cream cheese and let's get started i took out the skin and i washed it and i make three cut on each drumstick and this is the last one the whole reason we are making nice cut when we're going to marinate our chicken, the marination will go inside and it will taste better. Get a mixing bowl and I'll bring all the spices. Paprika, salt, red chili flakes, cumin powder, grinder powder, parsley flakes, and all those dry ingredients, just mix it. Once it's combined, I'll bring ginger, garlic, and green chili paste. Cream cheese. I'm going to bring a four tablespoon cream cheese. Please use the cream cheese at room temperature. And now we're going to mix it well. We're going to make sure that it's nicely combined with all the spices. Once it's nicely combined, let it rest five minutes. Our marination is rested for five minutes. Now we're going to mix it again. And now I will bring all the chicken drumstick. So we're going to make sure that all the masala is nicely marinated with each drumstick. Once all the chicken drumsticks are nicely coated with masala, this is looking good. I'll get the plastic wrap and we're going to place the plastic wrap on top of our mixing bowl and make sure that it's nicely sealed. Put it in the fridge for two hours. The longer the better. If you do it overnight, then it's perfect. But two hours is good. The chicken is marinated for two hours. I just took it out of the fridge. We'll open it. We're going to mix it one more time. Now I will bring the baking tray. This is the tray I'm going to use. It's a glass bakeware. You can use any tray. The stainless steel skewers and I'm going to use these. So I'm going to get the drumstick and we're going to place long way, this way. The whole reason we're going to do it so that's gonna stay inside. If you do it this way, that is no problem, but then it's move around. We're going to place the chicken drumstick straight like this. And now we're going to place it right on top of it. So it's gonna sit like this. So I'm going to keep continuing doing all the chicken drumstick the same way. So this is the last one. I put the drumstick one facing this way, the other facing that way. So that way it will fit nicely inside my pan. And this is looking perfect. Now we're going to take this one to our oven. I have my oven preheated at 500 degree Fahrenheit, which is 260 degrees Celsius. I'll open it and I'll place it on right on the middle rack. And we're going to cook it for half an hour. And after half an hour, we'll take it off and we'll do the butter coating. It's exactly half an hour and I'm going to open it. So be careful, don't burn your soul. And I'm going to get the butter. Once it's nicely coated on one side and I'm going to turn the chicken over so we can coat it on the other side. We're going to grab the chicken legs and we're going to place it just like this. After turning all the pieces over and we're going to do the butter coating, we're going to push the tray back and now we're going to cook additional 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes of cooking, all together, 45 minutes. I'm going to turn off the oven. So now we're going to wait for 10 minutes before we take it out. It's already cooked, you can take it right now, but I'll wait until it cools down. I let the chicken 
Rest for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to open it and I'll share with you. So I'm going to bring, look at this. Delicious chicken drumstick kebab. Our delicious creamy chicken drumstick kebab. Please try it. I hope you like this dish. And like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.